video on the design of PEB structure. So in the first in the first video we have explained we, we discussed regarding the uh, basic concept of PEB like advantages of PEB disadvantages of PEB and there are few comparisons as with, with, with the conventional type of buildings. So in this video we will be I'll be just explaining the column setup plan and I'll be explaining the plan and the elevation of this PEB buildings which we are going to model in Start Pro and then we'll assign the we will try to keep the videos very short so that it won't be boring when you uh, when you uh, continue to watch. So we will just uh, divide the lecture videos in small small parts. Like it, it may come 10 15 lectures, it may cover 10 under 10 15 lectures. So in this video, I'll be just explaining the column setup plan and your elevation. I'll be explaining the diagram. So this is the typical plan of PEB. This is the, uh, we have considered a simple PEB structures so this is a typical plan so the span along this is uh, 39 meters and along this length is uh, 21 meters e each this each grid is along this direction this direction this direction the grid is of 6.5 meters 6.5 meters 6.5 meters and this direction the grid is of 7 meter so i'll just zoom zoom and i'll show you look so we have marked this A, B, C along this direction. Uh, we have uh, marked A, B, C D grid and along this direction we have marked 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the grid marking. Now once your grid marking is done, you have to place your column. So tentatively this is the preliminary stage of the design. We need to just assume certain column type and accordingly we just need to put that column in this grid we orient that column in this grid line so we have the column spacing along this length column spacing along this length is this length column is spaced along at 6.5 meter and this length we have only periphery columns so we, we don't have intermediate columns in between the these two uh, this periphery columns so because as per the requirement because PBs are generally workshop building so you need a this you need uh, open spaces like you don't need any hindrance due to the column placing or anything like that so we can't place a column at at these sections because this is a single you can say this is a single room so we can't keep on placing the column so the column will be there will be periphery columns and where we can provide columns we can we can where we, we need to provide we will provide the columns so basically in this uh, pb design we are providing periphery columns so if you see this let us just uh, zoom a little bit so if you see these columns are c1 these columns are c1 this is C3 and this is C2. If you see, again, I'll, I'll just uh, wait. So this periphery columns, this edge column where both the axis, this axis and this axis is meeting, those columns are C mark C3. And the intermediate columns between C3 is mark C2. And these columns, like the periphery columns along the longer span, we have marked C1. The reason is, these C3, C3 is because of the edge column because support, uh, if you see C1, there will be load coming from this beam and this beam. So there will be load of total, total one beam like L by 2 and L by 2. So total one beam load will be coming on C1. But C3, there is no beam along, along this, at this position similarly your c2 c2 we are having both the beams beams from on both sides and there is also one beam from this side so, so there there will be three beams on c2 so c1 also three beams and c2 also three beams c c3 two beams so based on the c2 is different because the the span of the center to center distance between these two is also different 7 meters and here it is 6 point 
uh, spacing difference we can also keep the uh, the size of the column c1 and c2 same but again if you see this direction the span is for c2 the span is almost 39 meter this is 39 meter i'll just zoom it this direction the span is Thirty nine meter just this is thirty nine meters. So because of that, because of that, we are just we we have designing this C two and C one different column. The orientation again. This is a very important point. When your distance, where your spacing along this direction is more, this direction is more, then you have to orient your column such that the 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 larger dimension should align along this line. So you can see we have a H or I beam whose longer this web is aligned along this line. If you al align along this line, since this is not this is not symmetry this section i section is not symmetry in both x and y direction mean to say the moment of inertia in x and moment of inertia in y is not same that's why we need to be very careful while aligning this column so the lar larger larger length the the largest side of the column should be placed along the longer span and the shorter side should be spaced along shorter span like the this is the the flange flange width flange width is aligned flange if this is a i i beam the flange width is aligned along the shorter span and the web web width width is aligned along the longer direction so that is very important similarly for c2 this is the longer span so you the longer span your web will be aligned along longer span and flange will be al aligned along shorter span in case of c3 the longer and shorter span is almost similar so so you need to just uh, see which span is more so in this 7 meter is greater than 6.5 so we are orienting along 7 meter but in case if the requirement is like you have to orient along this direction then you can do because there is not much difference in the span of the column so this was the call this this was the column set out plan so based on this we will prepare the geometry in stat pro now i'll just show you the elevation of this this is the elevation this is the elevation long elevation 21 meters we are seeing this direction from this direction this direction so these two columns like the section is cut somewhere in between so you'll see c1 and you'll see c1 c2 will be just a dotted line so the height of this pb structure is uh, actually this, this at this point we are keeping 8 meters and at this point it is 7 meter from plinth level or we will keep it 8.5 as per our requirement so i i as per our design in the stat pro we will keep it as 8 meter and this is 7 meters in this drawing it is mentioned 8.5 and 7.7 .7, but in stat pro we will be model, modeling it as 8 meter and 7 meter so this plans we will be this column markings we will be modeling the pv in stat pro so thank you have a nice day take and good luck